Red Bud 3 Diseases Red Bud Cirrus SPP are small spring flowering trees, with numerous species and cultivars. One common variety in the U.S. is the Eastern Red Bud Cirrus canadensis, thriving in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 4B through 9A. The Western Red Bud Cirrus occidentalis grows in USDA zone 7 to 9. Western Red Buds have a lifespan of 40 to 150 years, but Eastern Red Buds are short-lived and rarely survive as long as 30 years. Both varieties are susceptible to the same diseases. Botryosphaeria canker Canker is the most damaging disease of red bud trees, according to the Texas AM AgriLife Extension. Cankers are sunken, diseased areas of bark that start out small but slowly grow. Damaged bark becomes darker and rougher, and can eventually peel away. Cankers continue growing until they surround, or girdle, the branch, cutting off water and nutrients and eventually killing that part of the tree. The entire tree can die if cankers move from the branches into the trunk. This fungus does not respond to fungicides. Prune away infected branches at least 6 to 8 inches below the damaged part of the branch. Dip pruning tools into a solution of 1 part bleach to 9 parts water between cuts, to prevent the fungus from spreading between cuts. The Botryosphaeria duffidia fungus that causes Botryosphaeria canker enters environmentally stressed trees through openings caused by mechanical injury or insect damage. To help prevent this disease, water regularly during periods of drought, and avoid unnecessarily wounding the tree. Verticillium wilt The Verticillium gallium and Verticillium alboatrum fungi cause Verticillium wilt, a serious infection that can cause rapid death in red bud trees. The fungus enters the tree through its roots and attacks the water transport system, or xylem, making it difficult for water and nutrients to travel throughout the tree. As the fungus grows, the tree biochemically attempts to stop the fungus from spreading by plugging up the water conducting system, which further inhibits the xylem's ability to transport water. In the early stages of the disease, only a few branches or one portion of the canopy will show symptoms. The leaves may be small, discolored or grow poorly, or the entire branch may suddenly die. The sapwood beneath the bark is usually discolored or streaked. The plant may die rapidly or more slowly depending on the health of the plant and the severity of the infection. Fungicides are ineffective against verticillium wilt. Keep plants healthy by fertilizing according to the needs of the soil. Water regularly during dry seasons, and prune out diseased branches with disinfected tools. There is no cure for verticillium wilt, but caring for the tree can postpone the inevitable by as long as several years. Leaf anthracnose Leaf anthracnose is characterized by irregularly shaped or circular areas of dying tissue that form along the leaf margins or veins. The spots expand into unsightly brown patches, and diseased leaves may fall prematurely from the tree. These leaves harbor spores that can reinfect plants the following spring, so remove and destroy them as they fall. Leaf anthracnose does not significantly affect the health of red bud trees, and fungicides are not usually necessary. Leaf spot diseases Fungi such as Philosticta Circuspora and Gloia sporium can create unattractive leaf spots on red buds. Symptoms normally appear during periods of hot, humid weather. Irregular discolored spots appear in the foliage. The spots may drop out and leave holes in the leaves. Severely infected leaves may fall from the tree. Leaf spot diseases are rarely harmful to red buds, and fungicides are not usually recommended. <laughs>